Today we've come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and they're finalizing it with their wedding today. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more. And it is their desire to love each other for life, and that is what we are celebrating. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you. But every morning, every night, it's never going to sleep angry. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Still closed. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I, I can't believe it. She I can just remember holding her in a my hand like this when she came out, first born. She popped right out. Yeah. <laughs> now she's twenty almost twenty three years old. I can't believe it. All growing up. Very proud of her. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> look so pretty. You look handsome. Lord, we are here today as friends and family of Jordan and Sydney. We ask that you unite and intertwine these two with love that is present here today. We ask that you give serenity to everyone witnessing this marriage as they start their journey together. One of the things I like to start with, these guys ask for it as well. Uh, Jordan and Cindy, let's take a moment here to like turn and face and, and look at our crowd. Look at our family and friends. These are the people that are here to share in your special day and to help celebrate your union on this amazing day in Whitehall, Montana. I'd like to start by saying when I first met Sydney as one of her fifth grade teachers, I knew there was something special. This girl kept straight A's all the way through fifth grade. She worked hard and it was amazing to be around. When I first met Jordan, we were at the Magpie. I don't know if he remembers this or not. It's a little over a year ago. One thing I noticed about Jordan and watching him, I don't know if they knew that I was watching them, was I was watching the small things and that, that Jordan was doing uh, with Sydney while he was there. Uh, like acknowledging her and uh, pulling out the chair and being able to, to treat her like, like she should be, like, like a princess. And I think the fact that Sydney is as well is one thing I think they both have in common. They know they're going to work hard and they're going to do it together as a team. Jordan. Do you take Sydney to be your wife? I do. Sydney, do you take Jordan to be your husband? I do. All right. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband 
and wife. Jordan, you may kiss the bride. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Marzetta. I just want to congratulate you both on a beautiful wedding. Thank you both for letting my family be involved in this thing. And I just ask that my family please help me in welcoming Sydney and her family into ours. Lifelong friends may face the dilemma of deciding whether to outgrow one another and give up or to grow together and buckle up for the ride. Sydney and I decided to go on that ride and we haven't looked back since. We have been there for each other through the highs and lows of life, but no matter how difficult those, high, those lows have been, we never dwelled upon them. Congratulations both of you on a wonderful day and to your beautiful life ahead of you. Thank you guys. Sydney, you look beautiful. Jordan's super happy you settled for him. Um, and looking at you today, I am so proud of the beautiful woman that you are. So, I ask that you and Jordan embrace the obstacles, work hard, dream, laugh, and most importantly, love, just as we always have. And to finish off, I would like to sing a song. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I just want to see your face. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. Action. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I that f it up. What? I f it up. Oh god, we gotta get yeah, back up. Okay, hold on. Did you actually? Can you, yeah, I did, but it's okay. We'll I, just I do it. I thought you were joking!